Greetings all you Starfinders out there. I'm David, the Digital Dungeon Master, and in this particular video, we are going to be taking a look at the Sheeran race in the Starfinder Core Rulebook. Once part of a ravenous hive of locust-like predators, the insectile Sheerans only recently broke with their hive mind to become a race of telepaths physically addicted to their own individualism, yet dedicated to the idea of community and harmony with other races. Sheerans are arthropods with chitinous exoskeletons, large compound bulbous eyes, and sensitive antennae. Unlike many arthropodan races, they walk upright, manipulating items with three clawed hands. In addition to their two sets of main limbs, they also have two sets of smaller limbs growing from their thoraxes. Sheerans have three sexes, male, female, and host. During reproduction, female and male shearans provide the initial eggs and sperm, and hosts incubate the fertilized eggs while also adding their own mixture of genetic material and immunities. In some shearan societies, a single host queen incubates for many partners and is considered the true parent, while in others, three-party marriages are common. Sheer and Young spend their first two years in a tiny, worm-like larval form, and they often are carried around in protective containers to let them safely observe the world. Not even the Sheeran know where the swarm first evolved, for its vast biological colony fleet has traveled the stars for ages and feels no need to keep track of such things. After splitting from the swarm, the newly self-aware Sheeran scattered to a number of nearby systems. A large contingent found its way to the packed worlds, setting up a successful colony on the planet of Verses. Since then, the Sheeran have spread throughout the packed worlds. Having evolved from hive creatures, Sheeran remain highly communal by human standards. Even when working with other races, they seek to foster community and teamwork and do what's best for the group. They are often lawful good, though loyalty and a utilitarian emphasis on the greater good can also lead them down questionable paths. Most of the common races find Sheeran agreeable and useful allies, though their telepathic communication and chittering mouth parts can be disconcerting and frustrating to the other races. Sheerans, for the most part, are positively inclined toward all of the major races, specifically the Yasaki, for their communal tendencies and zest for life. Though Lashintas often maintain their prejudice against insectile races, most Sheeran don't hold this grudge against them, as they themselves fear nothing more than the swarm that spawned them. Less inclined towards violence than many races, Sheeran often sign on with starship crews as ambassadors, medics, technicians, and other such non-combative roles, especially as mystics acting as ship chaplains. They adore working as part of a team and are often voices of reason in chaotic situations. This general friendliness should not be mistaken for weakness, however, as Sheeran's fighting for the lives of their comrades can be terrifyingly lethal, and the Sheeran will fearlessly undertake any suicidal mission for the good of the group. So being a Sheeran is going to give you a plus two to your constitution score, a plus two to your wisdom score, and a minus two to your charisma. You'll also get six base hit points. So what kind of classes and themes would you want to go along with being a Sheeran? Well, the first obvious choice would be a Mystic. The Mystic is the healing class in Starfinder, and it is a wisdom-based character. So the wisdom bonus for being a Sheeran is going to help you with your saving throw DCs. It's going to help you with your spell attack ability. It's also going to help you with the amount of spells known for your mystic. Now the charisma negative modifier really isn't going to affect your mystic too much, but the constitution bonus, it will help you mitigate a little bit more damage by giving you a couple more stamina points. Now, if you want a couple of themes to maybe go along with this, if you need more constitution, you can go ahead and go with the spacefarer. If you need more defense, uh, then think about going with the ace pilot or maybe the outlaw. Or if you need more wisdom, you could always go with the priest. 
Now, another couple choices that you could possibly take for the Sheeran would be the Soldier and the Operative. Now, even though these two classes depend on strength and dexterity, and the Sheeran doesn't provide that, you can still take themes like you could take the ace pilot theme or maybe the outlaw theme if you need a dexterity bonus to armor if you want more constitution if you want some more stamina pool then you could go with a spacefarer theme or if you need a little bit more attack with melee then you can go with the mercenary theme okay so now let's take a look at the racial features that the sheeran is going to get the first is going to be you are going to be considered a medium-sized creature and you will get 30 feet of movement per round. Next, you're going to get blind sense. This is where you're going to feel tremors and vibrations out 30 feet in front of you. Now, this is really going to be good when you're trying to detect any kind of camouflage creatures, invisible creatures, or stealth creatures. Now, you can go to page 262 and 263 in the Starfinder Core rulebook to read up more about blind sense. Next, you're going to get communalism. This is where you, as a Sheeran, work well with others. Now, communalism works with an attack or a skill check role. And if you have an ally that is within 10 feet of you, and when you do your attack roll or your skill check, you will get to roll the 20 sided twice and you get to take the better result. So it does work once a day. Now I like this, it kind of reminds me a little bit about Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition and Advantage. It pretty much works the same way. Next you are going to get Cultural Fascination. This is where you as a Sheeran are excited and you love to learn about new cultures and societies throughout the Pact Worlds. Now Cultural Fascination is going to give you a permanent plus two racial bonus to both your diplomacy checks and all of your culture checks. And the last feature you're going to get is going to be limited telepathy. This is where you're going to be able to telepathically communicate with an intelligent creature that is within a 30 foot range of you. Now you also need to make sure that for this feature to work, that intelligent creature that you're trying to telepathically communicate with shares the same language that you can speak. Now, this works best whenever you're communicating telepathically with one creature. And if you try to communicate with more, then it's going to get a little bit more tricky. It's going to be like trying to communicate and have multiple conversations going on at the same time. Now, limited telepathy will be good to use in stealthing situations with your group. Maybe you're trying to uh, get the jump on maybe a bandit camp, or maybe you're in some type of audience with uh, maybe a ruler of an organization or a kingdom, and you can telepathically communicate with your party members or maybe other council members on the other side. So there you go, everybody. That is the Sheeran race from the Starfinder Core rulebook. Now, down in the comments section below, I want to know what you guys think of the Sheeran race. Do you like it? Do you not like it? And is this a race that you would use for your character? I want to know. Now, if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, please do me a huge favor and give me a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate it. And you can check out all of my other Starfinder, D&D 5e, and Fantasy Grounds videos here on my YouTube channel. So once again, everybody, my name is David, the Digital Dungeon Master, and until next time, happy gaming and stay safe.